In this lesson, we will begin to see how we can transform a basic geometry of Blender into custom objects through what we call polygonal modeling. We already saw that when we select an object in Blender, at first we can move, rotate and scale the object freely. We can interact in this way directly with the object when it is in the interaction mode called Object Mode. If we have a geometry selected and look here in the upper left corner of the 3D view, we will see this menu here. This is the Interaction Mode menu and it allows us to choose the interaction mode of the object. The default mode is the object mode, which allows one to interact with the object as a whole by freely selecting and transforming it. But if we open this menu, we will see other interaction modes. And if we are with a geometry selected and want to edit the shape of the object with polygonal modeling tools, we will enable the edit mode here. In this lesson, we will know the structural components of the object and we will see how to select and manipulate these components. If we look here next to the Interaction Mode menu, we will see three buttons. These buttons allow us to choose which structural components of the geometry we can select. There are three structural components in a geometry, vertices, edges, and faces. If we have the vertex component active here and the box selection tool active here in the toolbar, we can select the vertices of the object. And at first, the way to select these components is the same as the way you select objects in object mode. We can click on each vertex individually to select them. We can add new vertex to the selection by holding down the Shift key. We can click on a free place in the 3D view to clear the selection. And we can create selection windows to select vertex groups. The next structural component is Edge, which can be activated on this button here. When it is active, we can use the same selection commands to select the edges of the model. And finally, we can enable face selection modes up here to use the selection commands to select the entire faces of the model. And when we have any components or group of structural components selected, we can use the transform tools to move, rotate and scale the selection. This way we can start editing the shape of the initial model. Note now an important aspect about how objects are edited. When we have an object in edit mode, the selection, move, rotate and scale tools will only work for the components of the object that is selected. If we try to select any other object, like the camera, or the light, we will see that we just can't do it. So, in order for us to be able to select the other objects in the scene again, we must exit the edit mode by going to the interaction mode menu and clicking object mode. With this, we will see that we can now select the other objects normally. Now we will select 
and delete this initial cube from the scene. And I will create a UV sphere so I can show some more selection commands. For that, I will press the Shift A shortcut and in the Mesh submenu, I will click on UV sphere. Now, I will enter the edit mode of this object. Only this time, I will use a shortcut for this. And the shortcut to enter the edit mode of the selected geometry is the tab key. Alright, now I will show you how we can quickly select entire loops of vertices, edges and faces. To select an entire loop, just hold down the ALT key and click on an edge. This will work both for the vertex selection mode, the edge selection mode, and even for the face selection mode. But for the face selection mode, the direction of the selected loop will depend on where you click on the face. If you click with the ALT key pressed closer to the vertical edges, that is, around here or here, it will select the horizontal loop. And if you click closer to the horizontal edges, around here or here, it will select the vertical loop. And finally, if you want to select multiple loops, just combine the shortcut to select loops with the shortcut to add more components to the selection. That is, SHIFT and ALT. So, if I keep the SHIFT and the ALT keys pressed, I can go by clicking and adding new loops to the selection. And these are Blender's main edit mode selection commands. In the next lesson, we will see how to create and remove edges and faces of an object, so that we have more control over its structure and can create custom forms.